It was Saturday evening when an accident in Spanish lookout left four children without their mother. 38-year-old Maria Norma Cedillo was traveling from town to her home in the Green Hills area when she and her 8-year-old son were knocked off her motorcycle on the Aguacate Lagoon Road. A female was uh, driving a motorbike at the time when the uh, driver of a pig, um, Toyota 4 runner, Mr. Jason Perez, it looked like he miscalculated a turn on a curve and slammed um, into this female Maria Cedillo motorbike, causing her fatal injuries. The minor was transported to the Western Regional Hospital, where he's listed in a critical condition. But while the police continue with their investigation, Cedillo's family is trying to cope with the death of the woman with the greenest thumb, who was always there for them. Cedillo's husband said that when he first heard the news of an accident, he would have never thought it was her. When they told me it's a woman and a child, I couldn't believe it until I went on the scene and saw my wife on the ground. No hay explicación. I can't explain it because it is something that I can't believe happened so fast. When someone takes away something that has been with me for so long, there is no way to think. A big part of my soul, of my heart, is gone. She was a type of woman that I can't explain. She was a good woman, a good wife. She loved farming, planting, tomatoes, fruits, vegetables. So this time, she found the kind of beans a Mennonites plant, and she went to take the beans to Spanish Lookout. But when she came back home, the accident happened. I was thinking of my son because when I reached, my son was not by his mom, so I was thinking about him. By that time, his son had been rushed to the hospital. He was discharged this morning with only a few scratches. And according to a resident who responded to the scene, his only injury seemed to be in his shoulder, while his mother died on the spot. To me, it looked like the injuries were primarily head injuries, so uh, the lady was already lying on her side, so I didn't move her body. Uh, the little boy was laying on his stomach, so I moved him to his left side. I rolled him to his left side. He started to regain some consciousness and was crying a lot. He wanted to lay on his back, so I turned to his right side, but it appeared his right shoulder had an injury. I turned him back to his left side, and I just kept holding his head and eventually I put my IFAC under his head so he didn't need to lay on the stones. Basically, I was rubbing his chest or holding his shoulder and just holding his head. The lady had not breathed a single time. Uh, the man who was the offender, uh, he was kneeling on the road uh, crying that I killed the lady, I killed the lady, and he was begging me to tell him that she was okay. Uh, and I told him I felt like there was a faint heartbeat still, but she didn't breathe once and I was pretty sure she was dead. It was approximately within five minutes that I covered the lady because to me it looked like she was dead and I didn't want her body to be exposed to the public. I just covered her with a thermal blanket. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.